Hi, in today's video I want to show you airsoft guns that I had the opportunity to test during gameplay at the field in Komprachice Poland. I'm talking about models from Delta Armory, which thanks to the courtesy of the airsoft armory store, were brought for testing. Without much hesitation, I decided to borrow the available versions and see how they perform in the field. This video is not sponsored, but I couldn't resist testing the new replicas and sharing my thoughts with you. Delta Armory is a company that started creating airsoft replicas in 2019. They are based in Hong Kong with a logistic warehouse in Central Europe. They offer several variants of replicas. Charlie Line models with polymer bodies priced at around 135 euros. Bravo line, hybrid materials with a polymer body but a metal front grip. Alpha line, fully metal replicas created using CNC technology. And ETU line, the cherry on the top, full metal with an electronic ETU processor and upgraded internal and external parts. Today I tried alpha version and one of the replicas from the ETU line. The first rifle is the AR-15 CQBR model and according to the manufacturer's website most of the parts including the body, front grip and trigger are made of metal. In addition we have a quick spring change system and out of the box muzzle velocity of around 380 fps with 0.2 bbs. Let me start with what I didn't like. There are quite a few gaps between the handguard and the body, as well as on the stock. Although the replica had been used a few times before me, it suggests that you need to pay attention to the joints and regularly tighten the screws. The fact that the handguard consists of more than one piece also doesn't improve the situation. The rifle suffers from typical issues due to the lack of the electronics and the use of a standard battery, resulting in a low trigger response, insufficient spring tension during rapid semi-auto shooting and occasional misfires when changing the firing mode. The price of 190 euros is somewhat discouraging, considering that I would need to replace many internal parts and add any electronics that allow the use of at least an 11.1 .1 LiPo battery, without the risk of burning the trigger contacts. On the other hand, something that pleasantly surprised me, which also applies to the models from other lines, is the fact that the magazine well successfully accepted all the available brands of magazines on the side. Sometimes it was a bit tight, other times a bit loose, but all of them fed BBs without any problems. In my opinion, it is a great feature because you don't have to search too much for compatible magazines. The situation was completely different with the AR-15 Silent Ops DMR Alpha ETU. As the name suggests, it's a version that includes an electronic trigger control module increasing the trigger response and sensitivity and providing additional functionalities like precocking, the ability to set a binary trigger, which is firing both on trigger pull and release, and burst fire. What was my first impression when I held it? It's very well fitted, knowables, beautiful appearance. The package included a slick angled grip in the key mode system, but due to the replica being adapted to accept 11.1 .1 LiPo batteries, there was no battery included. With this replica, we shoot around 400 FPS with 0.2 BBs, loaded into a 130 round mid-cap magazine. On the manufacturer's website, we can check the list of parts included in the upgrade. Many CNC machined aluminum elements and a precision 6.03mm inner barrel resulting in quite good accuracy. Adding to this, the previously mentioned compatibility with magazines from different manufacturers, 
I must admit that I'm very pleasantly surprised by this rifle. The AEG is a bit loud. It could benefit from some good shimming, but considering it's right out of the box, it performs really well. While I'm not certain about using the AR-15 Silent Ops as DMR, it performs very well for dynamic gameplay and distances up to 40 or 50 meters. Comparing it to the previous model, for additional 110 euros, we get a very solid construction without any wobbles, a modern look and a bunch of upgraded internal components which would cost us more if we upgraded the basic version. I think it's a quite attractive qualitative and price alternative to replicas like Spetsna Arms Edge or the increasingly popular Arcturus Legend models, with the difference being that Delta Armory currently only offers AR-15 platforms. On one hand, it's great that they focus on one design. It definitely benefits the quality and overall brand development. However, on the other hand, they lag behind the competition that offers various platforms which appeals to a larger number of potential customers. In the end, I wanted to buy the ETU variant, which I had the opportunity to shoot with, but Delta Armory rifles are in such high demand in Europe that these models were quickly sold out and I have to wait for the restocking. What do you think about Delta Armory replicas? Maybe you know better alternatives in similar price ranges. Let me know in the comment section below and see you in the next video on the Sandy Fighter channel.